I think I was very happy to allow Sarah to, to use my time, but uh, once you stopped there, I will still speak. Yeah, in Ghana, basically, I think it's, it hasn't been so different. Uh, I'm just trying to consider our current situation minus Cities Alliance program that we had. Uh, we've had local governance since uh, 1993, right, the Act. And it's taken about 20 years or 23 years to pass on the power from the center to the, to the city authorities. Then I keep thinking, how long will it take the cities to pass on this power to the communities? Because clearly that's the kind of lessons I'm learning. With the City Alliance program, we are beginning to see how this whole transfer and devolution of power should not sit. Because the city has two roles to play. One, you receive the power from the center, and then you devolve the power back to the communities. So I think one of the key points we have learned is that through the forums, we are beginning to see how power is shifting gradually onto the communities. Uh, one other point has to do with the whole situation of the land and eviction issues. Uh, these are challenges that we feel strongly that uh, before 2000 and let me say 13, 14, when we started this program, we had dealt with slums in isolation. We never had a bigger picture of the city. Ha, ha, what are we discussing when we talk about slums? Many, many of our urban specialists thought slums were just the squatter settlements. Now we are beginning to learn clearly that uh, we have indigenous settlements that are, also, that are also slums. For us, this whole citywide slum upgrading has been so, so powerful. It has really been useful to begin to have dialogues between the city authorities and the communities. And for us, like my colleague has said already. Uh, we are also very particular about the issues of youth unemployment in the, in the slums. Uh, clearly, there's a huge demand for services and infrastructure. For example, issues of toilet construction. Here we are, we have a very huge toilet deficit, and we have young men in the cities who can actually be trained to construct the toilets. And I know from the business model, wherever there's a problem, and you can monetize the solution that you are, you are in good business. So I'm, we are, our lesson is that how, how do we take this whole governance and decentralization to begin to transform the, the local economies. We have been engaged in mapping and profiling 11 MMEs within the Gamma area. Uh, we have succeeded in doing about 500 plus informal settlements in the 11 cities that we have. Now, what is significant for us is not the profiles that we have. Uh, we are beginning to also say that how do we work together with our cities to prevent evictions before they occur? Uh, many a times what we do is we have one, one settlement that is a, a squatter area. We move in and we bulldoze that. The following day, another settlement is involved in, in squatting. But from this program, we are telling our cities, we are working with them that Let's have the bigger picture. How many slums do you have in total? In the next five to 10 years, how are we going to work together to ensure that either we regularize the tenure or you want to, to evict them, let's work together to do that. And we are finding that in this whole process. Uh, one of my last points would fundamentally have to do with the issues of power. Clearly, uh, power is still hoarded at the center and it's gradually moving to the, to the cities. From the forums that we run, we are beginning to see how the, the control of resources, in fact, power is not inviting us to, to meetings and then asking communities to come and sit in a, in a forum. But who controls the budget? How, how are we able to also take part? So with the City Alliance program, we are beginning to have joint physical projects. For example, in Ashama, we are beginning to con have some community contracting where local artisans are constructing early pavements and routes. And I think these kinds of interventions that compels the cities to work with communities with, with the same resource in one basket is the way to go. Thank you so much. Sir.